What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So we received a response about a social security increase. So if you guys don't know, I wrote a letter to President Trump and President Biden to see who would respond. And I will be sending out letters to all of the candidates who are running for president, as well as my congressperson, the, the person who's representing me in the House, as well as the two senators in my state. So we'll have to see who responds. But we did get one response, and this is an actual response. This is not just an auto response. So I read an auto response a few days ago. And so it only took five days, and we actually received a response. So we're going to go over that in this video. But first off, you guys can do me a favor. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification, clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Threads and Twitter, you can at the TEC Show Live. And you can also follow my travel adventures on Instagram at Travel Explore Click. Okay, so let's go ahead. The first thing that I want to do, I, I want to actually show you guys the letter that I sent. And the reason that I want to show you the letter that I sent is because it will make sense when we start reading the letter, the response uh, from President Biden. So President Biden is the one who responded. And so uh, we'll, we'll take a look. We're going to take a look at my, it was a quick little email that I sent off to the White House, and then we'll listen to the response. And you'll have to tell me if you think the response answered the questions. So let me go ahead and flip over and we'll take a look at my email. So we'll do that first. So my email says, Dear President Biden, I'm writing to highlight the critical state of Social Security benefits and request your support for increasing them. Okay, now remember that, increasing them. That's what I was asking for in this letter. Rising living costs have left many retirees and disabled individuals struggling to cover essentials despite a lifetime of contributions. Please back legislation for meaningful enhancements. So what I wanted to get from this is I wanted to hear what legislation do you back? What is it the Social Security 2100 Act? Is it the Bernie Sanders $2,400 raise for Social Security? That's what I wanted to hear, and that's why I asked uh, the question that way. Your leadership can make a lasting impact on countless Americans and uphold our values. Okay, so that was the letter. And so let's go ahead and let's see what the response was. Now, I will say I'm happy that we actually got a response. And it only took five days. And that, that was surprising to me. When I, when I received the email, I kind of thought about it. I was like, wait a minute, that was only five days. It didn't take very long for them to respond. Now, I will say I have not received a response from former President Trump. Okay, now, we'll have to see if we get a response but even in their auto response, so they, they all send out an auto response. In the auto response, it didn't really say that they were going to respond. So we'll have to see if we do get that. So let's look at the top here. So we have the, the White House letterhead, August 30th, 2023. Thank you for taking the time to write to me. I believe we have a moral responsibility to provide Americans with the support they need to maintain their independence and age with dignity. Okay, now this is something that you hear a lot. You hear a lot of politicians talk about this, at least politicians who support Social Security. But if they're not really in support of Social Security, sometimes you don't, I mean, you don't hear them saying things like this when it comes to having people maintain their independence and, and living in dignity, living with dignity. Okay, so let's go ahead and go on here. That's why I have kept my commitment to stand up for seniors lowering costs strengthening Medicare and Social Security, and fighting any efforts to cut these bedrock federal programs. Okay, so, so far we haven't heard anything about how, if he supports an increase, okay? And this is what I really wanted to focus on. I wanted to hammer in on this. Last year, I was proud to sign the Inflation Reduction Act into law. For the first time, Medicare is able to negotiate the price of certain high-cost drugs a month's supply of insulin for seniors is capped at $35, and seniors' out-of-pocket expense at the pharmacy will be capped at $2,000 a year. Okay, so this is one of the, the, the Inflation Reduction Act. This was very, very popular back then uh, when it was passed, and they were talking about this. Now, so far, it's only 10 prescription drugs 
and they have started to negotiate at this point. Now, it might get held up in the courts, that might be an issue, but right now they've got the go-ahead to start negotiating. So Medicare is going to start negotiating with these pharmaceutical companies, which is good because that means that they can bring down those prices because now there's a negotiation. So that will help Medicare overall. It might not help you right away, and you might still have to pay higher premiums. However, in the future, the longevity of the program will be able to last. It'll be able to last longer because they'll be able to save money, and that's the, the, the key there. Okay, let's, let's go on here. This historic law builds on the progress we have made to improve the lives of seniors across America. Hearing aids can now be bought over the counter. Family, community, and nursing home care are improving. In so many ways, our seniors are finally getting a little more breathing room. But Republicans, now this is what I don't like, and I, even before I read this, I want you to tell me what you can do for me and what you can do for the American people. I don't need to hear about the other side. Let them tell us what they want to do for us, and then we can pick the best. I don't like when you send me a letter and I ask you a question, you send me a letter, and then you automatically go to, or I won't say automatically because it, they put it at the bottom of the letter, but you go to the other side and say what they're not doing. I don't care what they're not doing. I want to know what you can do for me. I could care less about what they're doing, what they're not doing. They can let me know what they want to do for me, but I also want to know what you want to do, and I don't need to hear you tell me what the others aren't doing. But we'll, we'll go ahead and read this. But Republicans in Congress are threatening to repeal the Inflation Reduction Act. Now, this is true. However, I still don't need to hear it. I don't need to hear that they're, they're trying to, to get rid of the Inflation Reduction Act. I just want to know what you want to do further. This, this paragraph here should have been talking about the increase for Social Security because that's the question that I asked. Okay, so let's, let's start over again. But Republicans in Congress are threatening to repeal the Inflation Reduction Act, which would line the pockets of Big Pharma and raise health care costs for seniors. Some congressional Republicans even propose putting Medicare and Social Security on the chopping block. I promise you, if anyone tries to cut Social Security or Medicare, I will stop them. Okay, so he's saying he will stop them and primarily he's talking about a veto, okay? So that, that's what he's talking about there. The strength, resilience, and wisdom of older Americans have made our nation what it is today, and I will do everything in my power to help them thrive. Sincerely, Joe Biden, okay? And then he has some information down at the bottom here. If you wanna follow him on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all that. I didn't even know, I wasn't aware that they had a YouTube channel. Um, maybe I was, I, I just can't remember ever looking at their channel. So that is the response. Now. It's very important to note that I asked for your support when it came to a Social Security increase. Nowhere in this letter does he address that, okay? And so that is my only issue. I'm glad that there was a response. I'm glad he sent something. However, I wanted to know about a Social Security increase. And so guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a follow-up letter. This is gonna be an actual written letter, so I'm not going to send another email. I'll do a written letter this time. I'll send it. I'll let them know that I received a response via email regarding the question that I asked, but my question wasn't answered. And then you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna press it and see where it goes when it comes to a Social Security increase, because that is what we wanted to hear about. So the good news is there was a response. The bad news is it didn't really answer the question. However, he raised a few points that I think are something, points that we need to know about. So we'll have to see if former President Trump will send a response. I will be sending out two more letters. In a couple of days, I'll be sending out two more letters. And I'll let you guys, I'll, I'll do a video of it so you guys will see exactly how I'm doing it. I'm going to send it to the presidential candidates first, and then I'll send it to my representative as well as the two senators in my state. So I hope you guys are sending out letters. I know there's some people in the comments that let me know that they sent out letters. So let me know if you received a response, because if you received a response, we can look at your letter and see if your letter is the same as my letter or if it's different. And if it is different, is it addressing some of the things that, that we were asking about when it comes to a social security increase? Did it address that? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.